How about you suggest another, whoa, set of themes, and I go back to another instrument? Dinosaurs. Cool. Versus centipedes. Sorry, what centipedes? Dinosaurs versus centipedes. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> so there were some rather impressive species upon the earth. Wander the land, but that's not where it really is. An insect, after all, only has six legs. That'll never do under the skies of blue when you could have a hundred or two. So the land was at one time ruled by dangerous centipedes. just right and in those days you could find whatever a centipede needs but they watched these strange creatures crawling out of the sea growing scales and walking away from the sea and then they started to sing these strange little beasts they started to grow they used to be squashed on a centipede's feet, but suddenly, what do you know? They're the size of a house, when a house had not been invented, not the size of a mouse. The centipedes weren't contented, and so began a terrible It takes a very long time, but he has got the greed. See Tyrannosaurus Allen, take a centipede's eyes and bite them away, and then remove the head, take the centipede down to size. You might think the dinosaurs must win. The rules of the land they're living in, but the centipedes have a hidden skill. And now, over there, you see a moving hill. The centipedes have learned to control the earth, and now it arises and swallows the dinosaurs up. And they would be just fossils. But the centipedes, bad luck, they were suddenly exterminated by an asteroid, while a few dinosaur eggs remained in a cave, and so the dinosaurs were saved, and so the way was paved for the rule of the dinosaurs. Thank you very much to Mark Burns, Mark Allenbrook.